Well, across our region, we are starting to see a few roads across portions of southeastern Missouri become a little bit covered, especially down into portions of Madison County in southeastern Missouri and also into Bollinger County and also into Cape Girardeau County as of this hour. And that's because we're seeing a little bit of wintry precip. We have that winter weather advisory for portions of southeastern Missouri, including Poplar Bluff and Cape Girardeau. And further off towards the north, we have that winter weather advisory for Carbondale and also for Benton and for Mount Vernon. And this goes until 10 o'clock tonight and that's because we could see up to a tenth of an inch of ice accumulations across this area and taking a look at the radar we are seeing some sleet and freezing rain mixing in and this is going to start to track off towards the east and you can see that heavier pocket of sleet and freezing rain starting to work its way into Carbondale and into Benton right now as we speak and taking a look further towards the south you can see that heavier pocket of sleet working its way through Buchanan and then again that's going to continue to track off towards the east towards our region. Temperatures this morning in Carbondale are at about 32 degrees. And again, we're not really seeing too much out there on our live cam. It looks like things are flowing out there traffic wise. And for the rest of us, we're seeing temperatures pretty close to freezing 29 for Farmington and Mount Vernon. Those are our coldest locations, but everyone else is pretty close to the freezing mark or slightly above. As we go throughout the day, we are tracking the possibility of icy conditions this morning. However, we are going to be warming up through the afternoon and we're going to be starting to take above freezing, which will help melt anything that we do see accumulate. Warmer conditions, though, are on tap as we go throughout the next couple of days. And with those warming temperatures, we're also tracking the possibility of several rain chances as we go throughout the work week. Notice that we're already going to be at the freezing mark by the time we make it to 8 or 9 o'clock this morning, and then we're going to be at about 35 degrees by the time we make it to early afternoon. If we do see any icing, I expect the best chance of that to be back towards the west into far southeastern Missouri, and we'll see totals slowly taper off as we head off towards the east. But nonetheless, we could see up to a tenth of an inch of ice across our region with locally higher amounts, which a tenth of an inch of ice doesn't sound like a lot, but it's certainly enough to create some travel headaches. And by 7 o'clock, again, we're going to see that because a little bit more widespread across our region before we see it transition to mostly rain by the time we make it to the lunchtime hour and then we'll see all rain as we go into the afternoon and evening and overnight hours. It's really going to become a widespread soaking type of rain through the overnight hours and we make it a little bit of a break in the action through the overnight hours, but we're going to see scattered showers return by the time we are headed to work tomorrow and scattered showers will be lingering through the afternoon hours tomorrow before more widespread widespread rain starts to work its way through our region and I'm confident that we will only be seeing rain tomorrow because again we're going to be seeing temperatures that are going to start out into the 40s and we're going to be getting into the mid 40s for highs tomorrow afternoon and then we'll be still in the mid 40s by the time we make it to afternoon. So we just have to get through this wintry precip before we switch over to all rain and we're going to be very soggy throughout the next couple of days. So keep that storm track three app handy because again we're tracking several chances for rain especially as we get into the middle of the week. Friday it looks like we are going to be drying out slightly but Saturday it looks like that precipitation chance does tick up, but again, it's all going to be remaining rain, and I think we could see this week maybe one to two inches of rain and maybe three inches of rain down here in this red corridor as we go throughout the rest of the work week. So again, today we do have that winter weather advisory that goes until 10 o'clock, but again, I'm expecting most of the impacts from the winter weather to be coming in the morning hours. 48 for tomorrow with a chance of rain, especially in the early morning hours and then again in the afternoon. Wednesday we have a chance of, uh, about a 60% chance of scattered showers with a high of 54. 56 for Thursday, so we're really going to be above average. Friday looks like it's going to be dry with a high of 49. 48 for Saturday with a 40% chance of showers. But look at that, Rachel. We're not going to be ticking below freezing once we get above freezing later on this afternoon. I am really glad to see mm -hmm. that. But as far as today goes, we're starting to see that precip fall across the yes. region. Be sure and tack on a couple of extra minutes to your commute this morning. Absolutely. All right. Thanks a lot, Garrett. Now we're going to take a live look this 